April 5th, 01, 06, at about 9 p.m. This terrapin, around 8 years old, came in this morning. He will complain that both eyes are swollen and shut tight. And this was true when he came in. So the owners were rather worried because with the eyes closed, the terrapin does not eat much or does not want to eat. And uh, we give antibiotics and put, put him in a clean area with not, not being submerged in water. According to the owner and, and her domestic helper, they think that the eyelids were swollen for the last two weeks, but they did not know really what was the duration of the swelling. But as you can see from here, the eyelids are definitely inflamed and uh, some, especially on the right eye, now on the left eye it's not so bad. So you can see that he opens his left eye more. He opens his left eye more than his right eye. Actually this is a female. No, male, this is a male. He opens his left eye more. You can see, or you observe closely. So we will continue treatment with eye drops antibiotic first instead of sending home straight away although it's only about 10 hours ago that this therapine comes in now this therapine is quite a big one it's about uh, 8 years old weighing over 1, one kilo now, as you can notice, this terrapin was kept in a tank but uh, last two weeks, because he wasn't eating much so the domestic helper kept him submerged in a tank with the food prawns and fish mainly as this terrapin does not eat pellets at other times, the terrapin is left to roam in the apartment so that is the lifestyle of this terrapin but uh, submerging the terrapin too long in a small tank would expose he, him to contaminated water so that affects his eyes, eyelids and uh, he had very painful swollen eyes so he did not want to eat but uh, according to the, to the domestic helper, the water is always very dirty. But she could see that the pieces of pork, prawns, fish and pork were not eaten. And uh, so she kept the terrapin longer in the water. Now those black ones are the stew, longer in the water. And of course, being submerged under the small tank in in water with food and uh, plenty of bacteria multiplying in the water this affects the therapines eye, eyelids since he had no chance to dry himself but now we put him in a clean clean area with less less exposure of his eyelids to to submerge him in wat water so you can see that his eyelids are less swollen and uh, definitely there's a chance that he will recover fully and will go back to his own lifestyle of short periods maybe two hours in the t in a tank to eat 
and drink and swim and pass water but in Singapore the tanks are very small like this is quite small so the one the owner's tank was even half of this so for big terrapins they need a bigger tank to eat and and, and uh, pass motion and since this terrapin does not eat pellets so it has been uh, pampered with fresh pieces of prawns fish pork and chicken meat and uh, so as you can see overall it's quite good size much left terrapin and now that the eyes are open as you can see now so chances of him recovering after two or three days should be much better than being at home now you can see the eyes are opened so he, he should feel much better, definitely there is some rubbing of the eyelids especially the right one you can see it's quite swollen upper and lower eyelids and uh, so the news is good that these terrapins will have recovered from the swollen eyes and will be able to enjoy his life again to apply vets Tuesday April 5 2016 complaint of terrapin with swollen eyes swollen eyes for the last two weeks due to the fact that he was submerged in the tank with food and his tools for more than maybe four hours with the, with the contaminated water affecting his eyes so now that the eyes are open but you can see there's some especially the right eyes some roughness due to rubbing from his paws claws yeah so that might be the reason why he closed both eyes most of the time and that's why the owners did some googling and came to Topaya Vets for treatment April 5, 2016 9 p.m. Singapore.